This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Okay, so Eddie Hearn, he spoke to DAZN and he said that he does not believe Conor Ben will receive a ban. Will not receive a ban. Now, that could be for a number of reasons. Number one, could be just hoping for that. Number two, obviously he will know a lot more than what you and I do about the, the case and the evidence that uh, Team Conor Ben have put forward. So maybe that's going to give him some confidence. Or C, he's putting it out there in the hope that the WBC, VADA, etc. hear that and think, well, actually, he doesn't deserve a ban. Maybe. But regardless, and as I've said time and time again, no matter how you see and whatever evidence comes out, whether you believe Conor Ben took something intentionally or by accident, whatever evidence is put forward, the only thing that really stands out for me is the fact that there were two tests and it appears from the outside looking in that they were tried to be brushed under the carpet. Ignored, the VADA test. The first one, oh well, must be a mistake. Second one, while he's in camp for Chris Eubank Jr., it comes out, what, a week or so before the fight? Still trying to get the fight on. That's the part, for me, that a lot of people are going to have a problem with. There were two tests, and he tried to ignore them and brush them under the carpet. Now, does that deserve a ban? Not necessarily, again, because the ban, that will only go down as... Did you take it intentionally or did you not? That's pretty much where the ban is going to come from if, of course, he does receive one. But certainly something has to be mentioned, whether it be from the British Boxing Board of Control or whoever, to say, you had two tests and you tried to brush it under the carpet. Somebody has to answer for that one, surely. Surely to God, right? Because that, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. And that's the part that... For me personally, I'm, I'm more focused on. It's not about whether he took something intentionally or not. Of course, that's important, but it's more about two tests were taken and they tried to brush them under the carpet like it meant nothing. That's the reality from where I'm stood. Now, he says that he believes Conor Ben will return very, very soon because, again, he believes he's not going to get a ban. But even if he does, then he's going to return at some point this year. So quite clearly, he doesn't think he's going to get more than a six-month ban. Would it be backdated for the fact that he lost out on the Chris Eubank Jr. fight and he's been out of the ring for a little while now anyway? Maybe. But, again, if he does receive like some kind of ban from the VADA or the WBC, whoever's going to hand it out, just means that in certain places he can't fight. He can still fight in other territories. And no matter what happens with VADA and WBC, the British Boxing Board of Control will want to have a look at the results. They will. And if Conor Ben wants to fight in the UK, he's then going to have to reapply for his license and then the British Boxing Board of Control will make a decision themselves as to whether or not they're going to ban him. Just because VADA or WBC may not hand out a ban doesn't mean the board won't. In which case, he may have to fight abroad exclusively. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see how things transpire. Hopefully he's innocent and hopefully he can prove it. Drop your thoughts below, click the button, subscribe. Catch you next video.